What's going on everybody? I'm Average Joe and welcome to another Average video. All right, today's Average video, I was actually getting ready to do the third install or the third video for installing the Ethos battery on the Ethos and Lux Power Inverter system over there. However, I did get a request to open up one of these batteries so we could take a look inside. So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, this isn't gonna be like a super in-depth, you know, tear the whole thing apart or anything like that. We're basically just going to Here's my cat. We're basically going to open it up real quick, take a look inside, see what everything looks like, and then put it back together so I can start the next video. Alrighty, let's get to it. All right, so what we have here is the Ethos 5KW stackable or module battery, okay? It's kind of like a server rack battery but you mount it on the wall. This side, you have all of your communication. All right, so we have COM port one. We have an LED status indicator right there, an on and off switch. This basically turns on and off the BMS. Right underneath this plate right here, we have some ID switches, basically, so you can assign each battery a location. And then we have another COM port two. Right below that, we have a ground lug or a ground screw. And then also at the top, there's another one right up here. On the back side, which we'll get to in just a minute, that's gonna be all of our screws that we take out. And then on this side, we have all the specifications right here. I have my serial number blocked out. All right, if you wanna see the spec sheet real quick, I'll also list it on the side of the screen, but model number is FETHS-48051-G1. These are the 48 volt Ethos batteries. Nominal voltage is 51.2 volts. And these are 100 amp hour or 5,120 watt hours. Got some voltage range, 43.2 to 57 volts. Got some temperature ranges right there. They're IP65 and these weigh 120 pounds. The only thing they don't show you right here is the discharge current, which I will point it out on the screen on the side. Right below that, we got some of our Amphenol connectors. We got our 125 amp circuit breaker right there. And then there's two more Amphenol connectors right here. These are for paralleling over to the next battery. And then of course, a QR code if you wanna see that. And I also have some of the battery cables that came with it. All right, here's one of the wires that come with it. This one actually goes over to the inverter because it doesn't have the Amphenol connector on the other side. Anyway, just FYI, these only only go on the positive, they won't actually connect or go on to the opposite side. So only black to black and red to red. These are some really nice silicon cables, by the way, and this one is one ot. All right, that's enough of that. How about we open this bad boy up? All right, looks like all we have to do is take out the number two screws up here, and it looks like there's about 14. Oh, here we go. That's nice and stuck on there. All right, here we go. All right, quick note for the back side of that panel. We have a huge rubber seal going all the way around just to keep all the moisture out. And then right here in the center, we have one of their fire extinguishers. And it looks like there's technically two probes on here, one on this side and one on this side. These aren't technically for the batteries per se. It's kind of for all the electronics and other plastic parts in here that can catch fire or would burn. So don't think that these are technically for the batteries, it's for everything else in here. Alrighty, first glance, I'd say it looks fan-freaking-tastic. All right, let me bring this camera in a little bit closer so you can see. All right, so starting up here on the top, it looks like on each negative, we have six AWG, the stranded silicon wire. And those both go down to the BMS down there and then are attached to the same point. Looks like the positive are basically the same. They go into the circuit breaker on this side, then they exit into a four AWG silicone wire and go to cell number 16, which is gonna be the most positive. And then obviously everything is connected to the BMS. I'll bring the camera down and try to get better pictures of that, but I don't think I can actually actually get to it without too much disassembly. I'll zoom in on that in just a second. We're just going to look at the cells right over here. All right, on to the cells. So obviously negative and positive. So the negative is always gonna be cell number one. So we connect here and then we daisy chain or series all the way around to this side and then back around to our positive over here. And then we have all of our BMS or balance wires and temperature sensor wires all going right through the center. They're all zip tied, everything's nice and neat. I can see one, two, three, 
and four temperature sensors on here. I would imagine there's another one or two on the BMS. Everything is heat shrinked. Everything's got the little mark on here, so it's been torque checked. All the BMS wires have the little silicone drop on each and every screw. When I was in the Air Force, we called that bird shit. All the screws that held down the outside panel, all those have a nice rubber O-ring on those. I can also see that there is basically a space in between each cell to allow for any sort of expansion. Even in this direction right here, there's a little bit of a gap down there. And if we look down here, I can't really see anything down there at all. All right, so it does look like there is separation basically in between all the cells, which is nice. All right, I'm trying to get in here a little bit closer view of the BMS if anybody wanted to see that for any reason, but there it is, it's purple, and it's a 16S 100 amp BMS. So there you go. And then there's one other thing I did see on this side is it has a pre-charge resistor right there in the center if it'll focus there we go there's the pre-charge resistor on the back side of the front which is roughly right behind the qr code right here Alrighty, well there you go that's the inside of the ethos 5kw battery Alrighty, well that's pretty much it i don't think there's anything else in here that i could really show you so i'm going to put this back together so i can start the next video Alrighty, well there you go. That is inside the Ethos battery system. And like I said earlier, it's real similar to a Serverec battery. The main difference is, is how you connect them. The BMS inside is gonna be a little bit different. And these ones, of course, you mount to the wall. I think that's pretty much all I got. So if anybody has any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely put those down in the comment section. If you're looking to expand your current Ethos system, you know, these are stackable and module and you can expand really anytime you want to. And of course, Big Battery gave me a 10% off discount code that I can pass along to you guys, which brings it from $1,740 down to $1,566, which is a freaking steal for a UL certified battery. Alrighty, that's it. If anybody thought this video was helpful in any way, don't forget to like that smash button on your way out. And don't forget to subscribe to come back for the third video where we actually install this or integrate it into the 10 kilowatt ethos system over there. That'll be video number three. I have to pause for a moment. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Everybody's gonna wanna see you. So come on here and show yourself. You're gonna get my shirt all hairy and I don't want you to do that. What was that? You better go check it out. You done messing around? No, you're not done. Okay. That's my microphone. Hey. Are you done messing around? <laughs> Cattail. All right, camera's in a new angle. You better get in the shot. Cat butt. You like that? You tell him. Oh, hello. Hello, buddy. Tell him.